Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6 and this is Eric Camille. Time today I'm being joined with... Hey everybody, I'm Boo Bradley. Good to see you again. What are we doing today, Boo? Well, today we're gonna hit a couple convenience stores and then I have a special challenge for you today. I'm gonna take you out to Park Golf. Is that right? That's right. It's a, it's a type of golf that we play here in Japan. Okay. And be excited because it's actually really fun. All right, well, I'm super thirsty. Let's go get something to drink. All right, let's go. Here's my drink right here. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. That's nice. Here, here's one for you, Ichigo Miruku. I, I recommend this for you. Uh, thanks, I, I'm gonna pass Okay, you. Gonna... banana milk? Mm, nah. Ichigo strawberry milk, huh? I, I've seen you drink those, those aren't those very flattering, that one right there. But I definitely will have to try something over here. Oh, so here we go. These are all the clear drinks again, right? These are oh, all yeah. flavored clear drinks, right? The cheese. Yeah, they got a lot of sparkling drinks. They have the CC Lemon. I did that on one of our videos. Yeah, it's good wow, stuff. I like that. Stuff. This one. Ooh, this one. Look at the sparkling. I, I want to go with the sparkling drink. I can't decide. Uh, Mitsuya or Kieran? Hmm. Hey, you got mango. You have the. Well, this I think this is a lemon. Yeah, of course. I don't want to try that. That's mango. more exotic. Yeah. Let's try the mango. I like these clear teas, huh? Premium morning peach, premium morning lemon. Ooh. No, you're not a tea guy. No. Are you a beer guy? All free, all time. It says beer. Oh, that's interesting. That is beer. It says beer taste, all free, all time. There's no alcohol though. Ah, you can trick somebody. That is actually pretty cool. It's in a, it's in a pet bottle. It's not in hmm. a can. Oh, see, these are the, yeah, this is no alcohol beer, too. It's interesting, though, that it's clear. Yeah, that's what's interesting about it. Well, if it says, hmm. you know what, I actually, You going to try that? Yeah, I'm actually going to get one of these because, look, it says you can drink it you know, while playing sports. Yes, you can. So, hey, that would be mine. See, do we need any hangover? This is the last time we were in here. I remember getting one of these because I was hungover. Oh, yeah. And you know what? This time I'm hungover, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll, not, I'll not as much. Yeah. It's like not... Look at this. The shelves are bare. Hey, but look. There's a yakisoba sandwich. There you go, Eric. Look, the this is for you. This has got your name on it, <laughs> Officer Bradley. Yeah. It's a spaghetti sandwich. Oh. I, I know you'd be having that. Uh, no? no? Come on, for the for the fans. Uh, no. All right. Um, for the birds. Yeah. For the hawks. For the hawks. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just put this right back here, man. There we go. Yeah, that's where it yeah. belongs. It's got mayonnaise. Nobody it, bought it. It's There's got. A and it's the it's last one on the shelf. Ryan, I know. <laughs> Could I do a maybe a chicken sandwich? Yes. So tonight I actually have to go to Tokyo. I, I have. Uh, oh, is that Ryan? Yeah, I have evening work. I got, I oh. got transferred to a new, uh, new unit. Is that that's good, right? So, well, just for a couple months. So. The, uh, do they have the, the chicken? Do they long. have the fried chicken? Yes, they do. They do have fried chicken. Yes, they do. There's one. There's one piece left of spicy chicken right there. Um, what do you want to get? I just need a piece of bread to put it on. All right. Like a good. This is naan. What is that? Does that say spicy tacos? Mm, that actually sounds pretty good. You want this? Actually, I was looking at this pre made sandwich that they have here. So it kind of reminds me of the... It's got four four fillings? Yeah, it has four different types of filling. A little sausage, so it's egg, tuna. tuna, roast ham, and sausage. That's, yeah, that's you should good, go for that's that. That's a sampler right there. I'm definitely going to go with this one. Okay. So it reminds me of uh, camping. And when you go camping, you know, you uh, put the bread and the hot dogs together and you, you make one of those uh, nice little sandwiches like this. It's kind of what they're going for, I believe. Hey, look, they've got more of these... Um, that one looks older. Oh, and also has a little piece That's of... That's got katsu in it. Yeah, Ham, it katsu, yakisoba. Natto. Natto, you Natto really? Natto roll, yeah. How was I'm on? Okay, so this is round one. All right, what are we going to uh, grab first? I'm going to have my ice cream first because I'm afraid it's going to melt. Oh, that's a good idea. And uh, what do you want? I think I'm going to go with my uh, sparkling cider. Okay. So the yeah, mango. actually, you're right. I drink first is yeah. better. 
Okay. So, right. you got what'd you say? You got so I got a Mitsuya extra ref refresh. It's the mango flavor. It actually okay. it looks really refreshing. So I'm excited. Refreshing. Refreshing. This yeah. is uh, what is it called? Green dakara. So it's I don't know. It's clear. It's supposed to have a bunch of different vegetable tastes in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I bet you could just drink that. My son one. likes this. Yeah. It's it says uh, grapefruit, mikan, and uh, it has a whole lot of fruit on there. Yeah. Sh shikusawa, Man tomato, lemon, mango. All right. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Hey. This is good. Know, it's, mine's just, it's just it tastes like water. Mine. Water with some mild flavoring. I, for a carbonated drink, I actually I actually like this one. Uh, uh, the carbonation actually does taste uh, pretty good with the mango. Bubbly flavor. maybe? Yeah. Tastes good. Tastes really good. Very refreshing. Is the mango taste uh, strong or is yeah, it, is it really like a flavored strong. water? Really strong. Yeah, mm. it's really strong. So you yeah, know see, mine's more water in it. So mine definitely has a lot of sugar in it. Well, a lot of sugar. Look at that. Speaking of sugar. Yeah, actually, I would say this one has very little sugar. It's, it's more of a sports drink. So I think I think I got the right one. Really? Yeah. Oh. I think so. Okay. Mm. What would you like to eat? Um, well, I'm going to go with the the natto roll. Oh, yeah. the natto roll. Yeah, I know. You it's... are brave for early in the morning. So, yeah, this is a natto roll, yeah, sushi roll, right? Very few people like natto. Not natto. What, are, what is natto? Fermented, fermented stinky beans. beans. Yeah, yeah it's Japanese right? fermented beans. Yeah. So it took me a long time to uh, respect the smell of this bean. Smell? So oh, is, is it a... It's uh, very potent. It's an acquired taste then, right? It is, it is. Okay, I'm going for ice cream in the morning. This is rare. Ice cream in a bag, everybody. <laughs> yeah. My friend Paul turned me on to these. Really? Yeah, I remember my nice. boys used to eat them when we when they were growing up, but I was never a fan. Coolish. I like it. It, looks, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I should have got some ice cream, but I'm staying away mm. from ice cream right now. Oh, this is delicious. Oh, I love these rolls. Mm. Look at that. Now, I have the worst time unwrapping these. I usually, I, I'm so horrible at it because it actually comes with a, a way to do it. Do you know how to do it? So yeah. you flip it over. Go closer to the camera so they can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. And here I am trying to wrap and show you on my first attempt not to make a mistake. And you know I'm going to make a mistake because this is not that hard. There we are. Just take you nailed it. it. First try. Yeah. There we go. All right. I feel good about myself today. I know today is going to be a very good day. So I, I'm confident I'll, I'll win this uh, golf tournament today. Oh, we're going to make it a competition? Yeah, of course. Okay, so you got to so make you, everything a All right, so you keep score? All right. Yeah. I'm in. All right. So remember, hmm, uh, seaweed, natto, love it. So. This is so amazing. Ice cream in a bag. I love it. It's, it's so neat. Mm. You know, there's no mess. Mm. Mm. This company did a really good job. Uh, Here, you want it? Let's give them a focus. This company did a really good job of uh, packing, packing it with packing the as natto, much yeah. natto as possible. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't fall out. I mean, it's pretty good. Hmm. So recently, uh, my diet, I've been uh, I've been eating a uh, natto, and uh, it's actually helped my uh, my diet improve. Good. Good. Better, so yeah. So today is going to be a bit of a diet cheat. Well, if you eat that first, I guess then you're going to earn whatever is unhealthy in the rest of the bag. Is That's that how it works? Right, yeah. Is that so how you I'll, justify? I'll even, I'll even myself out today. Yeah. Mm. So I don't have too many cheat days, so I do a pretty good job uh, maintaining. I'm maintaining my weight pretty uh, even. I I haven't gained any weight back, mm. and I I lose about a kilogram or so. But every day I, I you lose a coffee. you lose a kilogram a day. Yeah. Dang. But then I gain it back when oh. I when either I eat, which you know is about three four times a day. Mm. So, and I drink, of course. You know, I have like three four cups of coffee, and my new uh, my new schedule doesn't uh, fit my eating habits. And I'm a little uh, interested in trying to uh, learn some new eating habits to at least 
drop at least another five kilograms in the next month. But who knows? If I eat this, yeah, I'll lose weight. Well, it's all about controlling the cheat. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Speaking of Speaking cheating. Speaking of, yeah, right? Yeah, geez. I've got a spicy chicken sandwich here. Do it yourself, right? So I, I brought, I got some bread. It's, uh, what does that say? Spicy tacos. Spicy tacos. Right? Just some basic bread to lay out the chicken on. And this is spicy chicken in a bag. Mm-hmm. And what are you doing next? I'm going to go with the, uh, the the sample bread that I got. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You got a pretty interesting one, too. Yeah, so I got a, I got a pack of a bread. Uh, it has a variety. It's a variety pack. Uh, has four different types of, uh, of sandwiches. Just four different types of fillings. Fillings, yeah. Yeah. So what is that? Egg, tuna, roast ham, and sausage. Wow, bonus. And all this for like what, a buck and a half or yeah, something? I think a buck thirty, yeah. That's pretty killer. Yeah. Pretty killer. Oh, I'll share this one with you because you know there are just four of them. Uh huh. All right on here, man. <laughs> I see you have uh, mayonnaise in your mouth. The last time you had mayonnaise in your mouth, a hawk came down. I, uh, yeah, your food. yeah. Uh, that was really scary. Yeah, it was. Or this time I have packaged bread in my hand and not a what was it a quart. What was it a beef beef sandwich? Yeah, something like that. So, yeah. so that that's what's called. This is a Yamazaki lunch pack. That's yeah. what it's. I've done some some of these with my son, different ones. But I've never seen this one with the four different meats. Yeah. That's pretty killer. There's two different types of bread. Okay. Yeah. We need a table here. I know. This is use your knee. Yeah. Okay. Very easy to break apart. Yeah, four different times. You got four of them there. Yeah. All right. Pick also, it. there's oh, so there's white bread and there's wheat, wheat bread. bread. That's interesting. And yeah, actually, it doesn't say you know which is which, so you have to feel around. I'm gonna assume this one, uh, based off the feeling, it, uh, it has the sausage in it. So. Yeah. Oh, each one is a different filling. Yeah, each one. Oh, a different okay. Filling. I thought it was all four together. No, no, they're all so four it's, different uh, combo. Yeah. So I'm, I'm interested in that chicken. Chicken comes. Yeah. I'll, Share it. I'll share it with ah, you. No need, no need. Eat okay, it. Okay, so yeah. it works like this, and then you just fold it over like that. Yeah, makeshift sandwich. And I'm gonna put some mayonnaise on it. Don't drop your chicken this time. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, man. I, I've done that before. Dash out your bread here. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, like that. And I've also got some uh, wasabi in this pocket. The right. man, wasabi. Gotta have wasabi. Uh huh. You yeah. that? Ooh, that All looks right. good. Mm hmm. Well, that's a sandwich. That is. A manwich. A manwich. Love the manwich. Just like this. Hey, smash it down. All right, how's yeah. that? You want to get both sides? One, you just do all, all one side uh, wasabi and mayonnaise, and leave the other side. Yeah, uh, yeah? that's that's all that's necessary, I think. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah, yeah. Going I'm, in. All right, I'll have all four. No, I should only have one. Do at one time. at a time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Perfection in sandwich making. That if does. I don't that does mind look good. saying so <laughs> myself. How's yours? I see the sausage. Yeah. You're going to show them? Well, of course. Uh, you got a little mini sausage there. Uh, it's a little undercooked. Undercooked? Uh oh. Yeah. It, that's not good. No, no, no. I mean, it is the tiniest thing. I mean, you know, that's a that's a finger sausage right there. And, yeah, I mean, they, they give you a little bit of ketchup. I mean, you know, is it? Hmm. Yeah. It's not bad. I mean. Uh, undercooked, though. Nah, I'll still eat it. <laughs> nah. oh. And this, you, you're buying this, it's not in a refrigeration unit, no, right? It's, it's, not. it's room temperature, that's the amazing thing. Yeah. So the question is, how do they keep it fresh? That is a very good question. I'd like to what? learn how, to, how that happens. So, I, I actually, uh, what is this one? You want, hmm. Oh, this is amazing. And the, the wasabi is just about the right amount of spice. And it's spicy chicken as well, too, so 
It's got some kick. That does look really the good. The bread's really soft. And it's full, and that's the cost about a what? Four fifty, three fifty. The chicken was a dollar fifty, and the bun was like a dollar, so two fifty for the whole sandwich. Right? It's not bad. Hey, you can't beat that, man. What? I mean, that's really good. I've had a lot of requests for this. <laughs> Do it yourself, chicken sandwich. Mm. Huh. From the convenience store. Mm. Uh, the third one I, I ate. Was the that tuna? Really fast. Yeah. Third one is tuna. What was the second one? I don't even remember. You don't even remember. See, a, that, that's, yeah, that's yeah. your weight problem right yeah, there. Yeah. I got to figure it out. I, when you eat something and you don't even remember. Yeah, I don't even know what it is. Like, oh. I ate something. I don't even remember what it was. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm. Ah, here it was. It was a... Uh, roast ham, that says. Yeah. Hmm. It was roast ham, yeah, because the, the last one is egg. Hmm. So. Tuna, not bad. Now, this is the one I'm actually kind of worried about. Uh, egg sandwich. So, why, why are you worried about it? Well, because it's egg. I mean, you know, you, there's so many uh, food poisoning oh. that you can get from... Uh, salmonella? Yeah, salmonella. So, but however, in Japan, they actually do a really good job of getting the egg. Sorry if I can get that into focus. Uh, you know, it's like an egg salad, egg, huh? Yeah. Hmm. So, I, I've never actually had food poisoning from a convenience store or a restaurant here in Japan. Uh, since all, mm. all, the, all the time I've been mm. here. I have been, I've, I've had food poisoning once and that's because my wife cooked, uh, what is it, uh, discount shrimp? Yeah. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> and I was, I was out for three days. It was the worst feeling, yeah. And I, I still give her a bad time, so I tell her, don't buy shrimp anymore, let me buy it. Right, yeah. <laughs> you got a shrimp phobia now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, what else is in here? This is good. This little sampler is actually really tasty. So if you're just on the run, it's really good. Right, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, I think you did good with that. Yeah, variety. Okay, so this is the last item in the bag. It's it's a clear <laughs> it's a clear beer, no alcohol. Non alcohol. Isn't that interesting? Beer in a pet bottle. Very interesting. Yeah. Mm hmm Please, Eric, do the honor. Bye Santori. Yeah, have a drink. Okay. I mean, what they come up with at Asahi is really interesting. Smells like beer. Yeah, really. Bitter? Not much of a beer taste at all. It's more like uh, sparkling mm. water, like a, like ginger ale almost. Mm. It does smell like beer. What is that? I can't, it's I like, can't it's get like taste, uh, yeah. soda water. Soda water with a hint, maybe, of, of beer flavor. Yeah, I, I thought it was just going to be non-alcoholic. It's very non-alcohol beer. That's what yeah. I thought it was, but no, right? It's no, just... it's really carbonated. Yeah. Sales gimmick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not bad though. No, it's... it's thirst quenching for sure. Yeah, definitely so. Yeah. So yeah, definitely have to try new things when you go to the convenience stores because you don't know what you're going to like. So. Okay. Well, what do you say we get on the road here? And get to that golf. Get course. Get to the golf course and. Uh, Play some golf. Yeah, all right. What is it called? It's a special type of golf, right? Yeah. It's, uh, you're not using real clubs and real balls. It's it's like a modified sort of... It is modified. It, it's a modified golf club. The The head is a lot bigger. The golf ball is a lot bigger. And it, I think they call it a, a park golf. Park golf. Okay. Interesting. I've never, yeah. never tried it, but I'm well, into it. So maybe like a mix between miniature golf and real golf. That's something exactly like that. What Somewhere it is, in the middle. Yeah. And you'll be very surprised. Okay. Uh, the course that we're going to is very mm. beautiful. Uh, has we'll be underneath a, a train uh, track under a bridge. Oh, cool! So, Maybe I'll fly the so drone. The, yeah, I brought the drone along. Yeah, I need to practice. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. Speaking of trains, that's the bullet train. I Just, hear it. I hear it. I, hear but I don't it. see it. I think it whizzed by. Yeah. yeah. And uh, gotta love hey, these you know rice what? fields. This house is for sale right here. Yeah. Look at this. What do you guys think of this? This is for sale, man. This is right. Pretty nice. I, mean, yeah. it's a... I wonder how much it goes for. Excuse you. Sorry about that. But, you know, beautiful neighborhood with the rice paddy right here. That is a beautiful. Nice and quiet. Yeah. Okay. It's a very safe place to raise kids, too. Got the bikes. All right, let's get on the bikes and get out of here. Okay, so we made it to the golf course, and look what they got in the clubhouse. It's a 17 ice cream machine. Gotta love it. Eric, what kind of ice cream would you like to get today? Well, that's the problem. There's 17 choices. Yeah. 
Yes. I'm gonna go with uh, something thirst quenching. They have like a sherbet. What's that? Soda vanilla float sherbet. Mm. I see a lot of specials. There's like this four to five different specials. Soda float. This one. What's that? Sherbet. This one. This one. All right, hit the Gra button. Grape. Grape sherbet. Grape sherbet. Work. You're not having one? Oh, of course I'm gonna grab one. Let's see. Jeez. Well, I'm a I'm a chocolate lover myself, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this special selection here. This one? It's just regular chocolate. Oh no, this caramel one. A crown? Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. What is it? White chocolate and macadamia. Yeah. That's a crown. That's a crown. Yeah, it does say crown on there. Okay, I wasn't. How much is it? Oh. 200 yen, wow. I'm just Yeah, this it. one, this is an expensive one. It's the most expensive ones. And I don't have enough cash. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, Seriously, you have, you need 20 more yen. Yeah, well, Oh, denied. You're gonna denied, have to, that's you're gonna have to right. go for a cheaper one. Yeah, I only brought big bills. So you know what, I will go for this chocolate. So regular yeah. chocolate? Yeah, I'll go for this one. Okay. There we go. Sound. Oh, that feels nice. Yeah. Hi, everybody, and welcome to my channel. Today, I have hijacked Eric Mealtime. Today, I have a special guest with me. Are you prepared to see him? Get excited, because here he is, Mr. Eric Surf Six himself. Hey, hey what's going on? All right. Hey, Eric, how's it going? It's going really well. All right, so we're just continuing here. I had to uh, change the card. The SD card was full. So, uh, as you know, I just got back from uh, California and Hawaii, and I brought you a little gift. You did? Yeah. Awesome. Thank this you very is a, much. Uh, it's a puzzle. A puzzle? Really? Mm -hmm. And what you have to do is you have to get this ring off of the horseshoes. So, there you go. Got this in Las Vegas. Right, so, uh, apparently these are some of the world's smallest horseshoes. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume mm. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> My son just arrived. He's seeing me play That's with good. Let's get him on camera. Yeah. So. Hi, William. What are these? <laughs> All right. So basically, the goal is to get the ring out of the uh, the lock, right? I'm gonna. So you can't use any strength, but I believe. You just it's too noisy. So, well, I'm stumped. It has to twist, right? Now, I'm not a magician, but that, that's as far as I can get going. And I can't bend, and none of the, oh, if I had a tool, I could, I could pull this part, but it's just not gonna happen. So, you give up? I give up. Honestly, I, I mean, I could, I could try, I could try to break it, but to be honest with you, yeah. Am I ready? Yeah. Seriously? Really? Yeah. Hello. I feel really stupid. <laughs> right. so, Not a beauty? Yeah. No? And the fact is, even though I saw you do it, Okay, uh, uh, uh. I still, uh, I still can't do it correctly. What, what's wrong with me? Do it again, please. Do it one-handed. No, I'm joking. He's not gonna do it one-handed. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Eric served six, everybody. I'm just my hand. <laughs> I feel <laughs> emasculated. All right. Now, Eric, I actually have something for you. Something that uh, uh, my family and I got when we uh, went to uh, Camp Sama. Oh, yeah? So. Lay it on me. All right. Before we get started, I always want to give our, uh, our guests and our friends who come to our events a present. And today's present, I want to present to you uh, some candy, which everybody knows uh, in the States is... Uh, 
Payday candy bars? Payday. Payday, that's right. I don't think I've ever had a payday. A payday candy bar is just caramel and peanut butter. No, it, that's not correct. It's peanut caramel. Okay, peanut caramel. There's no peanut butter. Is there? Mm, tastes good. Anyways, these are for you. It's 240 calories. I don't think I've ever had one of these. Is this yeah. your favorite candy bar? Yes. So. Similar to uh, like a Snickers? Yeah. Oh, okay. So as a way of saying thank you for joining us today, have a Snickers. Wow, look at that. That's serious. Oh, here you go, sweetie. You can have one too. Serious on the peanut cupboards there, yeah. huh? Okay. Going in. So they have ice cream and a payday. So a payday is actually one of the a few candy bars that I ate when I was playing baseball back when I was in uh, elementary school. Oh. Mm. Yum. Mm. Oh, no, I prefer Snickers. Snickers are so expensive here in Japan. These are actually relatively pretty cheap. Hmm. Oh. When we finish up our uh, paydays, we can uh, we can go get the golf clubs and go out to the course. <laughs> All right, Eric, welcome to Park Golf. Today we're in Kaisei Kanagawa, where I will be introducing you to what we call Park Golf here in Japan. Okay. So, uh, first off, the clubs of Park Golf are a lot different than those in normal golf. You can tell that this club right here, almost whacking in the face. They're like back. mallets, huh? They are. Hmm. They're like mallets. So, and then the ball's huge. That's right. The huh. ball is really big. Uh, the reason behind this is so that uh, the people, when they hit the ball, the ball doesn't go high in the air and, and people get struck. So I see. It's a more gentleman type it's of It's a putter, putter type yeah. of golf. Okay. And these sticks represent uh, who goes first. So, okay. so there's three of us. Yep. So let's see who's going to go first. All right. You go third. Third. Okay. That's okay. three bars. So, all right, Eric. Eric should probably go I go second. second. Camera person goes first. All right. Okay. So, first course goes here. It's it's called the first hole, not the first course. Oh, no, but there are three oh, courses. Oh, there's three courses? Yeah. The first hole of the first course. That's right. So, there's three courses. Yep. All right. And are, are they uh, set up like beginner, intermediate, advanced? No, it's no. all the it's all it's all same mixed. level. So, over here, okay. you'll see a sign that tells you uh, the name of the course. Uh, sorry, so you have course A. All right, hole one is par three, and it tells you how many meters it is to the hole. And this Why one don't is... you read that Japanese for us? Are you serious? You can't read that? This is just like the standard yeah. alphabet right there. Oh. Ajisai. 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 And this is the Ajisai right here. This is the flower. Ah, the bush. But they're, they're done. This is uh, in June. It's a rainy season flower. Yeah. Yeah. 41 right. meters, that, that's pretty short. That is pretty short, but it's actually a lot it's harder. A, it's a four par, 41 meters. Yeah. I'm thinking hole in one. First hole on the Ajisai course. Very nice. How does that feel? Feels good. Yeah, right. not bad. Notice how I avoided that bunker out the back there. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that one. I'll Show us what you got. Yeah, so these are actually really expensive. They're a couple mon yen. Or at least ju mon yen. In the rough. Where I like it. It's two. Can yeah, I finish? Yeah, yeah, finish. For par. Shooting for par. Got it. Got it. Uh, you're in the bush. Is that a penalty? Yep, that is a penalty. And if you cross these uh, these markers, it's a two-stroke penalty. And what they have you do is you have one, two club lengths away from the hole in the opposite direction and then you can hit. Okay, fair so, enough. Yeah. I'm in the bunker over here. Stop, stop, stop. Eric, you made it into the 
Sand trap. Yep, and watch me get out. Alright. And so we just finished our uh, our challenge. The challenge was to do some uh, park off at 18 holes. Eric, I believe I won with a score of 64. You did, you beat me at golf, so you're gonna get better than convenience store. We're up in it, one really? notch to Indian Nepali restaurant. Pradia says, welcome to Spicy World on their sign. I like that. I like that too. That, that is tight. I like that. Welcome to Spicy World, we are in there. All right. I haven't ordered anything yet and already a salad has come, right? What kind of dressing is on there? It's mango, mango dressing. Mango dressing? No. Yeah. So this is the set, it's like uh, $7 and it comes, you choose one curry and then it's got, um, oh, that's the salad. Non and what kind of juice is that, William? Orange juice? Yes. Orange juice? I'm gonna, mango juice. Mango juice. I'm gonna get the, uh, I'm gonna ask him what the special is and then if it sounds good, I'll get it. If not, I'm gonna get the doll beans curry because I'm on a diet. The one I recommend is the butter chicken for $9.50. That that's what that you should get that. Okay. Because that's I know that's good. Yeah, that does look good. Right. Chicken. So there's many types of curries on their menu. So. And let's let's get one of the. Let's get one order of the. Where is it? Those things I forget what they're called. These samosa. Ah, the samosa. Yeah, let's get that it's vegetable. Those look good. Yeah. Okay. I like the menu. There's lots of variety here. Right. Can I get those? Whatever this lunch special with. What's the today's secret curry? Do you know? Is there a secret? Um, gindo chicken. Pumpkin, Pumpkin and chicken. Pumpkin and chicken. Is it is it good? I'll get the doll curry. I'll get the pumpkin chicken. Okay. Why not? Why not? What are you getting? Are you getting this one? Yeah, I'm getting. What'd you say? Uh, the butter, 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 you butter, know butter chicken chicken's curry? good. Yeah, butter chicken curry. Butter chicken. Yeah. Go big. Yeah. You have butter chicken? Yeah. That's oh, for him. Uh, let's see. How spicy do we want it? Do I want to share with everybody or do I want a really spicy where I cry? Uh, I want to cry. So make it spicy. Spicy. Okay. I like that how they bring you a salad before you even order. I like that. Right? Within minutes of sitting down, actually. It's pretty nice. Seconds. All right. So mango dressing. Is it mango? It tastes like pumpkin. Yeah, it tastes like pumpkin. So I ordered the pumpkin chicken curry. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. It's a light salad. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Yeah. I think this is Thousand Island dressing, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Oh, pretty good. Mango dressing, right? No? Pumpkin? No pumpkin. No pumpkin. Just carrot. Oh, carrot. Okay. Hmm. And radius. Ah. Hmm. Mix it. Ah. Mm. Mm. Delicious. So, so Eric, what did you think of the uh, uh, the park golf? You you a fan? Not so much. I would rather play miniature golf. All the holes seem like they're the same. You know, there's no no variation in the holes. They're, they're all every hole is the same. Did huh. I say that already? But you can't beat the price for 300 yen, three dollars. Yeah, 300 yen, 18 holes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But apparently, it's a thing with the older people, you know, because they have all the gear. They're carrying around like extra balls and these, right? They've got these holders that they holsters. Holsters that yeah. they wear on their belts. And the thing is, they're really expensive, like. Uh, the golf clubs are over a thousand dollars. No, they're not. Yeah. No. <laughs> Actually, uh, I practiced yesterday with uh, uh, with two gentlemen, and one of them had a golf club that was about uh, what sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen what? Jurokman Yen? Jurokman. Yeah. For for that little club with the big head, it was expensive in the bowl. Uh, different colors. Really? No kidding. Yeah. So more expensive than a real golf club. 
Um, yeah, and the golf the golf balls that they used uh, are uh, around fifty dollars, huh. fifty sixty dollars. So wow. it's, it's a very expensive hobby to get into. I see. Incredible. Mm. And you're going to be in the tournament, is that correct? That's right. I'm going to be in the tournament. Uh, I have a tournament coming up in a couple days. So I'm practicing every day to uh, to improve my skills. Good luck with that. Yeah. So this right here is a straw wrapper that I've prepared. Smushed it up. And then what you do is you put the straw in here like that. And then you're going to dab some water on here and watch the action. Ready? Isn't that the coolest thing you ever seen? He doesn't seem that impressed. What? You're not impressed? You didn't like that? You didn't like? Come on, dude. Look what. Did you see what happened? It came alive. Dude. You don't like my tricks? Dude, dude, look. Look at that. Look at what I. Dude. I've ordered a. Uh, what is this? Mango Raishi. Mango Rashi. Yeah, Mango Rashi. Yeah. Very sweet. Yeah. It's delicious. It's like a dessert. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Creamy. Oh boy. It's almost like a milkshake. It looks good. Well, Delicious. What, what would you add to this actually to make it uh, uh, better? I'd put two shots of rum in it, I think. Two shots of two rum? Two shots of rum. Nice. Mm -hmm. well, that's five o'clock somewhere, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, and today, for the spicy one, right? Hmm? Spicy. Spicy? Yes. How spicy? Oh, how spicy? spicy? Yeah. Two good eyes. Yeah. Medium. Medium. Mm. So I ordered my uh, uh, really hot. So. You did? Yep. You're the man. So when I eat spicy food, I, I want to cry. So you ordered yours with no ice I ordered so mine that with you no could get ice. more ricey? Yeah. yeah I right. ordered. Is it rashi, ricey? How do you pronounce rashi it? Rashi with an L. L, L I S. Rashi. Rashi, rashi, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, there's no, no need it for It says ice. here with the L, it says rashi. The katakana says rashi. The English says lashi with the L. I wonder which it is. I give some to my son because he loves uh, yeah, this mango. Pretty drink. good. So, so awaiting the curry. So Eric, um, speaking of hobbies, um, you know, uh, park golf is a hobby for some people. Now they'll, they'll spend a lot of money on their hobbies. Um, you're you're a surfer. What, I'm a surfer. What what other hobbies besides surfing is the most expensive hobby <laughs> that you've uh, you've had in your life? No, oh, that's a good question. Uh, I would say golf is an expensive one. Golf. And also, um, what do I spend a lot of money on? Snowboarding. Snowboarding. Because you got to get you got to get to the place. Yeah, snowboarding is fairly expensive, and you know, so you need the gear. You got to travel to the resort, right? To the mountain somewhere, and then you have to pay a lift ticket. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah. you can spend a pretty fair amount of money on snowboarding. Yeah. So, same question to you. What is your most expensive hobby? Uh, that is actually a really good question. My most expensive hobby has to be... You buying uh, these patches? <laughs> no, actually, those those are... Uh, the, these are actually given to me. These are, uh, these are gifts. No, okay. But um, for me, uh, my most expensive hobby is actually traveling around Japan. You know, uh, traveling to different places, going to museums. Uh, going to theme parks and, with my son, so and I I think of it as a hobby, so it's one of my better hobbies. Look at the size of these samosas. It's like a meal in an, in their own right there. They remind me. Huge. They look like Rocky Mountain oysters. Have you yeah. ever had Rocky Mountain oysters before? I have not. So yeah, I don't they, think I know what those taste like. They're they're a delicacy. You'll have to try oh. them someday. Okay, so I'm just gonna bust bust into mine. It's vegetable. Kind of warm. Oh, look at that. S steam coming off of that. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. And then you put these, uh, it's just ketchup. Yeah, it looks some sort Sweet of chili sauce. and ketchup. Nice. I got sissy hands. My, my hands are, don't take the heat so much, but look at that. Let's see if I can get really close. Sweet yeah. chili going on this. Ooh, that looks good. You want some? 
Yes, please. Here, I'll open mine up here. There you go. Alright. Alright, thanks. It's gonna be really hot. Yes. Yeah. Really hot. These ladies are in their background. Kid power. We should put it here. Yeah, yeah, you wanna put it on the side? Put it here. There you go. There you go. You in it? Yep. No? Okay, better? Yep. Okay, new angle. First cheer, yeah! Oh, yeah, sorry, okay. I just had to do that. Let's get into the samosa. All right. Wow, check this out, watch this. So it's pretty nice, I mean, they just cut it down the line, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're trying to play with it, and uh, I, don't, I don't think it's in focus. Mm. Look at that. You see the steam. Oh, nice off. shot. Yeah. Ah, thank you. So, uh, he said it was vegetable filling, but it's what it is is just potato. Is, is it just potato? Mm -hmm. mm. I'm a little disappointed. It's really hot, so... I expected more. Recently, <laughs> when I go out these days, I actually do expect more. I, I expect a lot... But, you know, that's just me. Oh, it's hot. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Pretty good? Yeah, it's alright. I'm actually going to put some more spice in there. I see some sweet chili. We got some sweet chili here. Can't focus. Sorry about that. I got an idea. No? <clears throat> this kid that's sitting across from me over here. Yeah. He's Which, got some curry. Oh, he's got I'm some gonna curry? I'm going to dip it in the curry. I remember I said, make me cry. Don't send me to the hospital. <laughs> no, look at the size of that. None. I know. Like the size of a guitar. It looks like a guitar. Like you know? a ukulele. Yeah. Sweet chili going on. It's like a jelly almost. A jam. Mm. It is tasty. Is it? Yeah. It's gooey. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I like the tomato ketchup better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like jam. Yeah. Ketchup's ten times better. All right. Getting into your curry. All right. So I'm gonna dig into my curry. Uh, I think it has what a, a six or a five pepper ranking. Uh, I gotta go that much. So I'm going to see how hot it is. Like this. All right. So. There you go. Ooh, water. Namaste. 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 All right. So, you want to dig into some of this? I mean, you know, mine is the hottest out of the, out of is the it? group. Is it? Go ahead. You, yeah. first, you go first. It's not hot. It's not that hot. No. Okay. It's not. I'll show you. Yeah. Well, that's a good looking flight right there. Lunch yeah. at seven dollars. Not too bad. I got the uh, the special curry, which is um, pumpkin and chicken. Pumpkin chicken, yeah. And then you've got the butter chicken. I got which the butter is chicken. Deluxe. Yeah, and yeah. it it has like a five jalapeno pepper rating. And is I, it pretty spicy? No. 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 How's yours over there? Good. Good? Going in. Jeez, this. look at that. It's like you could you could play. It's the size of a guitar. It, it reminds me of that. Uh, what are those six that they used Ukulele. in high school uh, back in the 1960s, 70s? The skateboard? No, it's, uh, back in the U.S. They used to have these. Uh, uh, freshman initiation back in the 60s and 70s. They would use a, a paddle. Uh, oh. High school high. It was a high school high. I forget the name of the movie. Maybe. Mmm. Is this hot? Mm. Pumpkin chicken. This is. This is amazing. It's really thick. I forget the name of the movie. Yeah, it's hot. Right yeah, this is not hot. Are you disappointed? 
Yeah. Hmm. But I'm not disappointed in the food, other than the fact that it's not hot. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, William. William has instructed me to put tomato ketchup into my. I don't think you want to do that. Yeah. I tell you, I tell you what. I will put some on my rice, just a little bit, just to please you. That was a very nice offer and suggestion you made. All right. And look, look what it looks like. He has a little smiley face there, but we need eyes, right? Yeah. The rice, saffron rice. Yeah, gotta love it. I love this yellow rice. So, Eric, um. Mm. When do you expect to hit a million subscribers? A million subscribers? Yeah. You mentioned that you. By the 2020 <clears throat> Olympics, but do you think we right. can hit that before? Will you hit that mark before the Olympics, do you think? No idea. But that's the goal, the 2020 Olympics, Summer Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. I think having goals are a good good thing to shoot for. Yeah, I'm going to buy a bottle of Don Perignon from Costco. <clears throat> it's $170. Yeah. I'll, I'll save a swig for you. That'd be nice. Oh. Save, no. me, save me half the bottle, you know. <laughs> oh, um, in the, uh, I was tearing this up. In the near future, what are some things that you would like to uh, to do to help improve your uh, your subscribers uh, numbers go up? Will you continue to do food videos, or are you going to try something new? I do. I have a new series I'm going to start. I think at the beginning of the new year. <clears throat> really? And it's going to be. Well, I can't tell you. It's a secret. All right. I can tell you, but I can't tell them. Ah. And I will I'm not tell sure, you. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I will never tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not that kind of guy, yeah. But it does have to do with food. Really? Good. Are, mm -hmm. Now, can I just take a random guess? You know, you, you've never told me, and I actually don't know. Sure. Did you get picked up to do your own sitcom here in Japan on a food channel? Have they done that yet for you? No, this is going to be a YouTube show. Oh, it's going to be a YouTube thing? <clears throat> it's going to be my own YouTube show, yeah. Because I, I've I'm been, not on the travel channel yet. I, I've been saying it for a, a long time. I think you do, you are the type of character and personality that, that should be on a TV food network. You have the characteristics that people like. Well, thanks. Yeah, I am. It's called Eric Mealtime. It's on YouTube twice a week. That's right. Same thing as TV, right? That's right. And, hey, yeah. Well, just, I just need sponsors. Sponsors? Mm -hmm. You know, commercial sponsors. Ah, that type of sponsors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aren't you running that uh, that uh, that pigeon thing? What's it called? Patreon. Patreon. Oh yeah, there'll be a link to that up here. Okay. Check that out if you guys would like to support me. Mm. That's right. I think uh, my son made a comment about the hawk video we've been in. It's one mm. of his favorite ones. Mm -hmm. So this Patreon thing. Um, do you think I should do it at some point in in the future? Nope. Or, no? Okay. Nope. I think you need to make videos. Good you need point. to make three or four years worth of videos before you ask for money. Okay. Definitely. That's that's good advice. Huh. This is good food. You want to try this? It's actually getting a lot spicier more than I'm eating it. I'm going to dunk my <laughs> naan in bit. That's fine. Yeah. You're almost halfway through. I remember to show the food. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's on the table. Bad. All right. Switching, switching up the curries. Chicken. Butter chicken. Yeah, mine looks like a, like an old man. Yeah, go ahead. I can go. try yours, yeah. Look at that. Butter. Butter curry. Butter chicken. Yeah. This is a deluxe one. Chicken. Oh, what do we got there, William? Oh, we got the same one. Try yeah, this is my favorite one, the butter this chicken. Is chicken. Well, there's chicken inside. Is there? Yeah. Oh, that's rich. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, try. Yeah, try. Pumpkin. This is pretty sweet, too. <sighs> okay, I'm really full. Can we rank this meal and, and uh, yes. wind up this video? Well, of course. All right, yeah, that was delicious. So, what are we ranking? 
What have we had so far today? Well, okay, so started the convenience store. Started at the convenience chicken store. Chicken sandwich for I, me. You had the uh, I had, uh, Yamazaki lunch pack. Yep, yeah, I had the Yamazaki lunch pack and the uh, natto roll. Oh yeah, that was yeah. disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> natto maki sushi. Yeah, and we also had the drinks. We had the I drinks. Had the mango. I had the ice cream yeah. in, the, in the bag. Oh, and then we had a ice cream from the you know, Seventeen the ice, ice, machine. The ice Machine. And we played golf. That's right. And then you lost. Sort of golf. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, you're right. That's right. I lost. Story, okay, yeah. I'm buying the meal. Yeah, that's that's what the challenge yeah. is okay, for. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. What and are you gonna rank it on uh, my um, Eric Eric meal time scale of one to six Eric heads? Well, I, I want to say five Eric heads. Five. Oh, he's going five. Yeah. Um. Okay. I I like the the way the food that w- at the convenience store was presented, uh, how the packaging and everything is going, and how convenience stores are mm. are always improving to uh, sell the products that they have. H- the, huge chunk of yeah. pumpkin right here. Uh, You're right. The packaging is is yeah, impressive. Yeah, it's getting better stores. and better at the convenience stores. Uh, you know, the park uh, golf was you know. At my level of expectations, you know, pretty good. But you're right about the the, the, the golf course being, you know, just every every hole's the every same. Hole's the same. Blind. So that part, yeah, you know, it gets repetitive. And the Indian food, yeah, my my curry wasn't hot enough for myself. You know, I said, you know, give me the max. Um, they, yeah. They uh, they did a good job presenting the food, but yeah, what do you think? I'm thinking I'm just gonna give it a five. Okay. Um, this curry is really good, by the way, because there's a lot of chicken and there's a lot of pumpkin in here, so I'm digging that. Yeah, you got chicken. And um, what else? Oh, we also have the the seafood. Look at this. I forgot to try the seafood. Yeah, this is seafood curry right here. Yeah, look at that. Looks good. Looks good, huh? Yeah. Okay, going in. So I, I rated it a five, and I haven't even tried the seafood curry yet. So the ranking could go up to a six, might go down to a four. No, it's still a five. I think I like mine the best. I did like the pump, the pumpkin chicken, because it's it's a special. Yeah. It's it's meaty. Mm-hmm. Come on. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming so five out. five and five. Mm-hmm. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for You're joining welcome. me today in your busy schedule. So, and thank you guys for watching uh, Eric Surf 6 and continue to watch his channel. That's right. I guess I should give you a plug, too. And uh, your channel name is Boo Bradley in Japan. <laughs> That's right, yeah. And you make what, videos about your family and yeah. life in Japan, traveling around. and. Um, That's right. I, I, I make videos about my family. Um... And I'm gonna be getting better. And we'll get better as a unit uh, throughout the years. So hopefully we will. Sai has gotten a lot better over the years. So I mean, it, we're improving. So thanks so for all of your help. And yeah, let's continue to do that. So thanks. yeah, actually, I need to go over and check out your videos. It's been a while since yeah. I, I've had a look. So yeah. Um, so you guys, yeah, definitely go check them out. Thanks. Appreciate let's, it. Let's put them over 2,000 subscribers. That's what we want to do, right? That's right. What do you have to like? 1,800. Yeah, 18. Let's, let's get them over 2,000, guys. That'd yeah? be nice. That'd well, be good. My end of the year goal is to try to get an even 3,000. But you know, I'll get there slowly. We've got a couple more. It's good to have goals. Yeah. It's good to have goals. Very good to have goals. All right, guys. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. And also, we like reading your comments oh definitely so uh-huh. I, and he, I he responds it. to comments with a purple no a green, green heart. heart so yeah that, that's the goal try to earn yourself a green heart from officer bradley down in the comment section down thanks. below all right and we will see you in the next one all right thanks guys see you again bye If you're new, hit that subscribe button top center of the screen and also consider supporting me on Patreon. That way you can help me create better videos for you. Click on the link bottom center of the screen for that. You can see many of the different reward levels for your support. Be well and we'll see you soon.